It is once again story time. I shared one of the most embarrassing stories I could and chat not only matched the cringe levels, but one upped it with dating stories of their own. Here's what we all shared and some of the advice that I had. Uh, I had a girl come over to college. She had class at 7.45 a.m. and stayed till 4 a.m. We nuzzled on the couch and I offered to show her my Pokemon sheets I had. <laughs> but I literally only showed her my Pokemon sheets until I dropped her off instead of losing my virginity. <laughs> The thing is, that could have worked. <laughs> Let me show you my Pokemon chase. And then you get there and you're like, you want to get in on my heart? Right? That could have worked out. Because honestly, if someone already has interest, you could just say whatever the f*** and it'll work. <laughs> right? Make sure to stretch before doing anything sexually cool. <laughs> One of my friends told me a story a while back. He was at a convention and he was with some girl that he had known for a while. And finally, they're gonna have their first night together. How sweet, how beautiful. And he really wanted to impress her. Okay, so she's laying on the bed. He's standing off the bed and they haven't started doing anything. They're like taking their clothes off. They're like, ooh, ooh, something's gonna happen. And she says something about like flexibility. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm flexible. Check this out. He like does something some cool stretch and like kicks his leg up in the air, except he loses his balance and he falls forward. So he kicked his leg up forward to say like, look at how high I can kick, right? Which hilarious naked. Can I just say doing that with your dick oh. out is so fucking funny. Like I try to picture it. I'm like, why? Why would you do this with no clothes on? That's so weird. But he did it. So he kicks forward up in the air. He falls forward and basically lands like in a half split. And he stretches the shit out of his hamstring and like groin muscles and he like pulls shit. And so he's on the floor like, oh, oh no, like rolling around, dying. And the girl's like, oh my God, what's going on? And so she's like, they, she like throws clothes on as fast as she can. He's like, he's like just, ah, you know, on the ground. And they had to call like 911 and send him to the hospital. Cause he, Cause he like, he stretched too hard. He was trying to be cool. So they're married now, right? They never did anything because he didn't like see her again much after that. One night standard into a one night fall. <laughs> it's easy to get hung up on she is just a nice person being nice to me. Yeah, oh my God. The number of times that like I thought someone was not expressing interest, I was just like, oh, well, I expressed that I like this game and they said they wanted to play this game. So, you know, we're gamers. I'm just here at this place doing this thing and they are too. And we are just hanging out out of convenience because we get along. We're the only people in this room that get along that well. So we're just chilling because it's, you know, who else are we gonna chill with? Your confidence can really get fucked up by a few comments when you're young. Yeah, and for me, it wasn't even like a lack of confidence thing. It was just like not a thing I thought about. This is why people would approach me because I talk to everyone. I'm nice to everyone. It's just not at the forefront of my brain. Like, like if I'm gonna approach someone and talk to them, that's not the reason it's probably because i'm on the grocery line and i'm like oh i love that brand <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> you did ask for stories yeah if you guys have any stories let me know i want to hear them was in high school and a girl i was interested in asked if i could drive her and a friend to the movies on a friday night Ooh. the friend was her boyfriend i died oh she said friend to you if i showed up and and realized before they got in the car that that was the boyfriend i would have been like so this is a using thing no thanks and i would have just what a bitch. The number of times my guy friends have had all these like, issues because of it. Bro, I would be considered a creeper yeah. nowadays. Mm. I was in college cat calling my wife and everything. <laughs> I was like, hey, sexy chocolate girl. <laughs> Tell your man his time is up long. <laughs> Tell your man his time is up. <laughs> if you're like attractive or if that person that you're talking to likes you, finds you attractive from first impression, you can get away with so much more. Dodgy said, legit, ever since I lost 40 pounds of weight, everyone treats me so much better than they did before. Isn't it so fucked? First impressions mean a lot, unfortunately. Like that's just human nature. I hear we always in this chat make fun of the term look smacksing. <laughs> like it's a fucking point system. You know that word, look smacksing? <laughs> unfortunately, so true that if you just do like a few things to look slightly better, people legit treat you better. And I'm like, oh my God. About a decade ago, I had someone stop me from outside of class and ask, hey, I heard that you might like me. My resistless ass said, oh no, God, no, and walked into the room. <gasps> you said, God, no. <laughs> oh, that sucks so bad. That sucks. Murky said, I had a girl I really liked confess to me and ask me out. I was going through something and thought this was a joke or dare, and I turned her down on the excuse, Ooh. I don't dance. <laughs> when someone's like, do you want to go do this thing? And it's obvious it's a date. I'm like, I don't want to do that thing. Nowadays, totally fine. But back in the day, instead of being like, I don't want to do a date like thing with you and just rejecting them clearly, I'd be like, I, I don't, I don't like that game. But then what you forget is you didn't actually reject them all the way though. So then they come back. 
and then you have to deal with that and it becomes more of a problem than you have to be like oh i said that because blah, blah, blah. and then they're like you let me on and oh i was going to go on a date with a girl we didn't communicate over roughly a month and we both stopped talking until January. I tried calling to try and open up conversation. She ghosted me and told people I was a stalker because I passed by her work going to college classes. P.S. She worked in the college cafeteria. <laughs> what the fuck? You were just walking. Hootie says I was interested in this girl during this summer camp. She brought me back to her room. She told me she needed to take a shower and came back. And my dense ass said, oh, my bad. We're in your room. I should leave so that you can change. Only weeks later did I realize her intent. Who do you have the dream porn scenario? Are you kidding me? That's a porn plot. Did you win? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the girl comes in with a pizza and goes, Oh, I ordered a pizza. The, like drops on herself and goes, Oh no, the cheese is on me. And you're like, Whoa, let me get you a napkin. Uh, Raccoon says, I slept terribly in university and was notorious for sleeping through morning classes, but made an effort to make certain classes with a girl I was interested in. Everyone does that, right? She eventually caught on after I started attending out of school activities with her. She's my wife now. <gasps> One success story? We have one success story? Yay! <laughs> I once had an emo girl in college drag me into an empty corridor to confess to me. She said, hey, I like you. I think you're hot. I looked her straight in the eyes and said, what are you, some kind of idiot? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, the worst is self-deprecation. <laughs> me and some friends go on a lake trip, 2 a.m., and me and a girl are sitting on the docks after drinking. I'm very drunk, and she says, turn around, I wanna go skinny dipping. My dumb ass turns around, and I hear her swim for like a minute, and then she gets out and puts her clothes back on. <laughs> oh no, you just let her swim, and you're like, that's cool. <laughs> mild almost porn scenarios that could have been something and it's just over freshman year of college i was hanging out with a girlfriend at her house played games made dinner drank a bit together when it was night we slept in the same bed and my dense ass said all right and just slept because she had a boyfriend <gasps> found out a few days later she had broken up with her boyfriend the week prior oh no <laughs> wait a minute if you thought she had a boyfriend why were you sleeping in your bed hold on a damn minute <laughs> Oh, this is terrible. Found this girl in college. She wanted to meet up one night and I agreed. Little did I know, the RA let her into my room. <gasps> and when I went to get ready, I found her topless in my bed. I left, forgetting it was my own room. I went back to bed five minutes later. <laughs> Why do you all have porn scenarios? What is this? You know what? You see it in that form so much that when you get there, you're like, I've seen this movie. It's not real. I'm thick as a brick and have goofed multiple opportunities. Girls in high school would literally ask me if their boobs oh. looked good that day and it went over my head. <laughs> Who the fuck is asking that? Bro, dude, no. The first time I ever asked a girl to kiss me, she had come over to my house with weed, but didn't have a pipe, so I made an apple pipe. We got really high, so we hey, ate yo, the apple. The and I was like, can I kiss you? And she was like, no. So we just ended up skateboarding around the neighborhood and never spoke of it again. Where I come from, from coming over with weed is like coming over with flowers and wine. Who'd have thunk? <laughs> you ate the apple? <laughs> Cowdry, I had a friend sit me down and ask if I had feelings. Self-deprecation ensues and said we wouldn't work out even if we dated. Agreed to keep it platonic. Oh no. Realized two years later that I'd fallen for her, but I knew I had blown my shot, so I repressed those feelings the remainder of college. I cucked myself. If you feel the self-deprecation coming up, self-deprecation David in the back of your mind is like, mm, it wouldn't work anyway. You turn around, you shoot him. Bam! Die. Shut up, David. Bam! You say the thing that you want anyway. To force it to happen is not okay. But to simply state it is always okay. Giga, what I want is your money. Well, you can't have it! You can't have it! But thank you for being honest. So many of you saying that you had girls like bring you to their rooms and then you just didn't Dear get it. Giga, I have a crush on a coworker who hmm. I think I get along pretty well in and outside of work. Is it still acceptable to tell this person that? Oh, but they're a coworker? I will say it's usually not a good idea to date coworkers. I once grew my hair out for seven years. Then some girl online said I'd be cute with short hair, so I got it cut. I was instantly rejected. Now I never change for others in appearance. <laughs> be the best version of yourself that you like and then hope that they like it. That, don't, don't. If someone's like, I think girls with short hair are nice, don't cut your hair. Don't, 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 don't. No. Asked my crush out on a date near the end of high school three times. Every time she would say yes, and then within a day, change her mind and cancel. Then a month before we would both move across the world, she wanted to go out and I declined. Pepe laugh. <laughs> Show that bitch what's good. <laughs> Ooh, had a friends with benefits thing freshman year of college that was super one-sided for her. She said she had zero interest in dating anyone until she got with an upperclassman from a mutual club a month later. You found out that you dodged a bullet two years later. Ugh. 
it's not a good situation emotionally, I don't think, for people. I don't think it's, uh, you know, I'm super naive because I was just down bad in general. <laughs> oh, this one's terrible. I had a girl in college I thought was a friend. She told me she had feelings for me, but it made me a bit uncomfortable. So I told her I just wanted to stay friends. Then she proceeded to tell everyone she knew that I was gay and never talked to me again. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? I had a girl who we were chilling with as a group uh, and she was using my lap as a pillow while we were watching a movie. Ooh. People started to leave, so it was just her and myself and her best friend. She told me to go upstairs to take a shower and go to her room while her friend was there. I left and she called me crying. <laughs> Hey, you did the right thing. It's it's so awkward for the friend and shit. Do that shit one-on-one -on, -one on your own time. No, that's fine. Uh, I knew a guy who had a crush on me for like a year, but he was gay and said he had no interest in girls before, so I never thought about it. Okay, so you are a girl, he's a guy. Uh, even though he was a lot more affectionate towards me than others, and that the girls were giving not so stealthy nods in my direction. I was just on my PSP chilling years later, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Right, sexuality is a spectrum, and they're actually cool with certain people. They might still catch feelings. There are a lot of people that think they're straight, and then they meet one person they're a little gay for, and they're like, oh shit. Never assume that it's impossible because you think you know someone's sexuality without, like, asking them fully, right? I drove a coworker home from a party. She asked me to walk her up to her apartment because of drunks sleeping in the lobby of the building. She asked if I wanted a coffee or something while she went to change it to something more comfortable. I thanked her for the glass of water and said I'd take off so she can get to bed. Oops. <laughs> That's not even like uh, just a suggestion. That is that is like the line. I won't read out this whole story, but someone said they had an ex insane ex-girlfriend uh, that tried to gut them like a fish with a meat cleaver. <laughs> she was sentenced to eight years and they have a scar now. <laughs> Damn. Yo, is she available? Is she around? <laughs>